Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Daryl sent me a note yesterday that said, Steve, check out this story. And, you know, I can understand why some people might think I'd skip this story. It's a sports story. It's about baseball. But first of all, I played baseball as a little kid. I loved, I loved playing baseball as a little kid. Uh, I don't follow it as closely as I used to, but um, I've been to Detroit Tigers baseball games. I was at Game 5 in 1984, so you can look that up. I saw Kirk Gibson ding one into the upper deck. I, I saw that happen. But, but here's the deal. A lot has been happening in the realm of baseball with respect to umpires. And they've got the technology now to actually see whether a ball or a strike has been thrown. And umpires occasionally get it wrong. Now, <laughs> for those of you who do follow baseball, you know there have been a couple umpires the last few years who, um, uh, let's just put it this way, uh, really shouldn't be on the field because they're so wildly wrong in their calls. And so the technology exists right now for a machine to call balls and strikes. And... MLB will start using robot umpires next year. This is from the Associated Press. And while you might say, Steve, all that talk of AI, you're always bashing the computers. You actually like robots? Well, <laughs> I don't want a robot to take my job, but I think the job of calling balls and strikes, you may as well have a robot do it because other than the drama, such as in The Naked Gun when Leslie Nielsen is an umpire for a little while, of him calling balls and strikes, Quite frankly, I'd rather have that be accurate. You still need umpires to make, you know, out or safe calls at bases and things, but balls and strikes, simply that could be done and should be done by a robot umpire. So Ronald Bloom wrote the story. Robot umpires are getting called up to the bigs next season. Major League Baseball's 11-man competition committee on Tuesday approved the use of the automated ball strike system in the major leagues next year. Human plate umpires will still call balls and strikes, but teams can challenge two calls per game and then get additional appeals and extra innings. And if the challenges are good, then they don't lose that challenge. So it's complicated at first, but challenges must be made by a pitcher, catcher, or a batter. And you tap your helmet or your cap, and a team then retains its challenge if successful. Reviews will be shown as digital graphics on the out field video boards. A uh, New York Yankees outfielder named Austin Slater was one of four players on that committee and said that three of them voted in favor of getting support. Um, and they also got support from 22 of the 30 teams. All six management representatives voted in favor. Uh, he said, I think with any sort of technology, there's not 100% certainty of the accurateness. I think the same can be said of umpires. <laughs> oh, so I think it's just coming to grips with the impact that technology is going to have and whether or not we were willing to live with that error that was associated with the system, even if the error is very, very minuscule. Good word. Big league umpires call roughly 94% of pitches correctly according to ump scorecards, and they're already tracking this. They are tracking this. And there have been examples, for instance, recently. I saw a game where one umpire called a game 100%, and people were, fr oh, my God, he got everything right except that the robot ump probably could have done that with its eyes closed, figuratively speaking. Adding the robot umpires might even lead to fewer ejections. MLB says that over 60% of ejections among players, managers, and coaches last year were related to arguments over balls and strikes, as were 60% of this season through Sunday. That figure includes ejections for derogatory comments, throwing equipment while protesting calls, and inappropriate conduct. And by the way, this is one of the things I've always, always been bothered by. And it's all part of the theater, the drama of baseball. But someone makes a bad call or even just an unpopular call, okay? Somebody gets thrown out at home plate, and uh, it's, it's a member of the home team, and the home team is down by one run, and it's late in the game. And the manager goes running out there. And, and this is, it's, it's a cliche, but the manager goes running out there, huffs and puffs, throws his hat on the ground, kicks dirt on the umpire's shoes. Um, has an umpire ever changed their mind because of that? So why are you doing it? And the sad part is that baseball, it's the only game that allows that to that extent. Now, a lot of times those managers get ejected, and then the crowd goes crazy. But 
what did you just accomplish? Are you hoping that you scared the umpire so that he'll rule in your favor next time? So uh, the Yankees manager who leads the American League in ejections for the fifth straight year, Aaron Boone, called the adoption inevitable. Throughout the year, I've been a little not totally on board with it or exactly how it's going to be implemented, but it's going to be here, and hopefully that's a good thing, he said. A lot of the things that Major League Baseball has done, I think, have been really successful in the changes they've made, and hopefully this is another one of them. Meanwhile, the manager of the Guardians said players will have to adjust. You can like it, dislike it, it doesn't matter. It's coming. It's going to change the game. It's going to change the game forever. Now, ABS, the automatic ball strike system, which utilizes Hawkeye cameras, has been tested in the minor leagues since 2019. The independent Atlantic League trialed the system at its 2019 All-Star Game, and MLB installed the technology for that year's Arizona Fall League of Top Prospects. The uh, system was tried at eight of nine ballparks of the low A Southeast League in 2021, then moved up to AAA in 2022. At AAA at the start of the 2023 season, half the games used the robots for ball strike calls, and half had a human making decisions subject to appeals by teams to the ABS. MLB switched AAA to an all-challenge system in June of 2024, then used the challenge system this year at 13 spring, spring training ballparks, hosting 19 teams for a total of 288 exhibition games. Teams won 52% of their ball strike challenges, which is 617 out of 1,182. So that shows that it didn't make that big of a difference. But my whole point is just put the umpire back there to make other calls, uh, plays at home plate, uh, fair or foul on, on inside rollers, uh, infield rollers, um, and, and other things like that. But just if you've got the technology now, and it appears they do, to have a machine call balls and strikes accurately, let it. Go right ahead. And no argument. And now there are probably going to be people who are going to claim that, you know, the machine's off. It's miscalibrated. But the good news is you can't go out and kick dirt on the machine. <laughs> And I'm sure as a, as a longtime viewer of baseball, if you watched baseball over the years, you know this, that for years, the shot they showed basically from the fielder's perspective of the batter was always skewed a tiny little bit. And I, I assume part of that was because otherwise the pitcher would be in the way. But number two, it did make it to where you never quite 100% knew how accurate inside and outside calls were. You could always see the high or low, like if the ball's up here and it gets called a strike, you know, what? Um, and then, of course, really, really low ones. But nowadays, the way the cameras are, you can see. And they've got the point now where they actually put the matrix on the screen and show you where the pitch was. And I've seen it now all over the Internet. You see memes. You see it on, on, on YouTube. Uh, you see that they'll show that that framework is on the screen Ball's out here, gets called a strike. Ball's here, and it gets called a ball. And, and, and as you're watching that, you're thinking to yourself, okay, if it's that easy to figure this out, why don't they use that technology? And it's simple inertia. It's simply that we've had umpires calling balls and strikes at home plate probably for, I don't know, a couple hundred years. <laughs> and again, I am a traditionalist when it comes to baseball. I tend to like things to not change so much. I'm still not sure how I feel about designated hitters, okay? <laughs> That's how I am. But when I'm watching a game and I see an umpire, and, and by the way, this is the other thing. I mentioned earlier there are bad umpires out there. There are also good umpires out there. And can you imagine you're playing a game and the umpire makes a bad call? and you lose because of it. Now, it is true that if you lose a game because of one bad call, then the game is so close that perhaps you shouldn't have let it get that close. But in baseball, that makes a big difference. You know, called third strike, you're walking back to the dugout. Uh, if that had been a ball, they throw one more, you could hit a home run. I mean, the swings are wild in, in, in the sense of how the game can go, the, the ebb and flow of the game, right? So... They're bringing the system in, and the way they're going to do it is you have the right to challenge calls. 
And if your challenge is good, you don't lose the challenge. But you're basically entitled to two bad challenges a game, plus some extras in extra innings. And by the way, there's all kinds of talk about what they're going to do with extra innings to shorten the games. I like the way they sped the game up. I do. I, I, the idea of going to watch a five-hour-long pitching duel <laughs> does not excite me. It does not excite me. However, um, what they've done to speed the game up with, turns out that everyone adapted to it, and the games are faster now, and I like that. And i got to mention one other thing. Banana ball. The Savannah Bananas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look them up, but they're all over the Internet. And I've been talking to my friends about them recently, including Bob. How you doing, my friend? And um, Banana Ball is it's, it's a minor league team. They started out that way. And they, and they invented their own baseball. With, with, they've updated the rules to make the game more interesting. And it's, it's actually just a lot of fun. Um, it's, and they, and they, they do, in essence, exhibition games with another team, similar to the way the Harlem Globetrotters always were playing the same team. But it's so much fun to watch. And... One of the things they've done is they've changed a bunch of the rules to make the game go faster. And some of the rules they have, for instance, they've got a rule that discourages bases on balls. They've discouraged the walk, okay? So a pitcher is heavily incentivized to throw strikes. And it makes the game so much more fun to watch. And I admit, it's an exhibition game. And, and I don't know if, if Major League Baseball would ever adopt any of the rules of the Savannah Bananas. But don't forget, the XFL introduced some things that the NFL said, you know, something that's not a bad idea. Now, some of that simply had to do with cameras and so on. But, but once in a while, some new ideas do come along. So getting back to this, Major League Baseball and robot umpires, I'm all for it. They, they can't replace all the umpires. But the one calling balls and strikes, absolutely they can. And that's the one where it turns out they've got the technology to do it where you can't argue with it. I mean, why, why, no, it's accurate, you know. So there you go. So, Daryl, thanks for sending that. Probably won't talk about baseball on this channel for another year or two, but that's how it goes. But I found this fascinating. MLB will use robot umpires in 2026. The Associated Press published that, written by Ronald Bloom. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Enter any 11-digit prime number to continue.